Hey there, I am JB, and in the last episode of The Outer Worlds, we went into the lab, we found another funny little weapon which we can do some mind controlling and let the enemy attack the other enemy. I think it's funny. We actually got the gases in our spaceship, and it is time to bring these gases to Lilia Hagen. It's kind of funny that the other companions also upgrade while they were not there. So let's just upgrade the stuff too. And you know what? The Max is going to get a different outfit. That was 15. This one is 26. Also got this police outfit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give him this guy. And we have a 12 and 16, which is not a lot though. You know what? Let's give him this 38. And you know what? Also this 38. No, 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 wait, wait a second. Gonna put this on you. You look like pretty right now. I actually wanted to give the armor to the other dudes. It's Felix. Felix is my army man. So 15 and 23 definitely need an upgrade. So 38 and 38. Yeah, this is what my army dude really needs. It's now Fisher Max. Gonna get this guy. Ooh, this one is very high though. You know what? It, it, it kind of looks cool though. Let's just keep it with that. And the only thing that I really would like to save up just because I think it's funny is the police stuff. So this one and this one. Now before we head out, I just quickly want to look at the upgrade stuff once again. Oh, I have efficient insufficient uh, ins. Yep. Long story short, I'm going to need to sell some weapons too. Now, down here, couldn't we just upgrade some stuff? Yeah, we're gonna install a mod on this guy. This seems to be the same. This one is a special one. Value is 90. Toughen it. Toughen it. Somewhat special, but not that special. Yeah, let's just act, put this on there. Increase your tech skills, range and weapon skills, dialogue, leadership skills, melee and defense. Dialogue skills sounds pretty awesome. Decrease noise, the range, interactable objects are highlighted, the distance you travel when dodging. Let's do highlighted stuff. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the groundbreaker. Ah, good that you remind us that we need to go to the groundbreaker. Thank you very much. Ah, you look so cool, man. Let's take, uh, Sam is gonna get a rest. Let's take Felix. And let's take her. And maybe we should visit her. Well, the one she admires. Guy's such a badass. Ah, hmm. And I'm going to need to sell some stuff. Uh, I mean, here we can sell stuff too, right? A little rule with myself. From all the mods I'm having, I'm just gonna save up at least five. So anything else can be sold. Wow, you know, all of a sudden I rem rem remember that I completely forgot that we went up there, parked in the office, and then we went to Monarch. Like, that is crazy how long it has been. Now just for the sake of it, I just want to bring Lady to this lady. You know, maybe. Oh, look. Through the window. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose related incident. Uh huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. <laughs> then some history here. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. Sounds fair. Okay. Yeah. That just... I was hoping she would have a little talk with her, but... Yep. Oh. <laughs> I thought, like... Why is the lift door still open? But... Don't want to talk, okay? Well, well, well. 
little Yahe gun. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. Okay, how much did I just get? Applied solvents are now agreeable. Okay. If gain thousand only. I don't know what I mean. I cannot even upgrade my weapon with that. Okay, the height of ambition for of all. Persuade hundred. You're not the only one who enjoy the finer things. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Thank you, thank you. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. In that case, you curious? No one was following me. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. I hope you kept the unreliable's engines warm. I got another job lined up for my new favorite contractor. Oh, God. Salvage me a space station. Space station? Spheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big are we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Uh, ginormous space station? <laughs> I like, I like where this game is going. Okay, hmm, how did you research the station become a salvage? Don't risk you, have a fire lined up. Not this time. The board tolerates our business up to a point, and selling off a station full of their old gear and terminals crosses that point. But if we were to move in and commandeer the station as a sublight salvage remote office, that's a different matter. Legally gray by comparison. More of a Squatter situation. Hmm, that sounds very really interesting. How did the research station become salvage? Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. Hmm. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Sounds hmm. like uh, a fun job. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. I I understood. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe we need to be careful with our business with you indeed. And, you know, going to deliver us a lot of money. We yeah, should just take it, right? Right. Okay, so yeah, we still have this and that. Okay, so Radio Free Monarch. We're not going to do that because it's the main quest. I'm not sure what quest she gave us. I think it this sublight remote access to the station override card to hand over control of the system. Sublight. Aha, it's like a side traction quest. Optional card riches. Hmm. So I'm at the warehouse. Look for talker. You know what? I'm gonna be let's just do it like this. I'm kinda a little bit tired of this monarchs and it has been so many episodes. Let's just have a little a vacation. Did you know June Lang grown up? Miss Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her though. Who didn't? She was just about the busiest woman on the groundbreaker. What did folks say about her then? Tough. Competent. Had a glare that'd stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Huh? That's why I brought you. You know, you could have a little, a little talk with her. There we go. Back for a rest. Space adventuring is tiring work. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> uh, my apologies. Uh, whew. It's definitely coughable, if you would. All right, let's see. We need to go to this. Wow, new spot. 
A satellite in the outer part of Halcyon system. Uh, English more 1084. Let's just go there. Hmm, interesting. Ah, and there it is. It's different than oh, we're seeing all these planets. Okay, so we need to invade this place. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a walk in and out. So, Sam, get your butt in here. And of course, Felix. Alright, weapons out. Let's explore this. Salvage space station. Oh. Well, let me guess. This is one of these type of deals that if we get caught, the robots will attack us or something. Oh, I don't see anything. Okay, restore power override terminal. It's like 43 meters away. And I think it's the best if I'm going to save it up here. Alright, you ready? Okay, let's get in here. Oh, I thought we change outfits or whatever. Apparently not. What does this kind of look like? Boss area. Mine. Perhaps. There's a lot of stuff here, you know. Okay, I see crap ton of enemies on my map. That's a question to play right now. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Hello, are you awake? Maybe we should um, see if we can destroy them before fight. Okay, uh, unable to access memory card. There is terminal power below 5% terminal in maintenance mode. Restore power supply station to resume normal operations. Maybe. You can already destroy these dudes. Right. Um, without turning the power on. Okay. A lot of mines in this area. Uh, that door is closed up. There's also an upper area there. Which I might need to climb onto. That is work. Is that a special weapon? Maybe we need to go via this area then. <laughs> I picked up something, I should have been reading it. Shot on a shotgun. I haven't seen a shotgun in a long while though. That is the same thing about the terminal. How about up here? There we go. Pick up hunting rifle ultra. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Hmm, nothing too special. It'd be nice if it was like a special hunter rifle. This is also by the way a nice spot to defeat a boss battle to say but right, enough about this and enough about that i am also going to save it up on the other side this one so it's sealed then oh man i'm forced to do something now where does this lead to also downstairs I 
is a canteen, I guess. Right, so we have a room here which I cannot get into because we first need to restore the power, I guess. Machines are still not bonding. Oh man, I have to power stuff up. Now, before I'm going to do anything, it might be handy to... No, no, no. It might be handy to first check out. Because if I can avoid something, then I'll rather avoid something. Makes it a little bit more fun, you know, a tiny little exhibition. Seems like I have to... Yep, we have discovered everything that we could. But just let's just turn this thing on again then. Mm-hmm, <laughs> this, that, that, and that, and this. Enter to continue. Maintenance locks. Utility status reports. Add toilet. Turn boot. Maintenance locks. Utility reports. Nothing else. Oh, oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. Uh, what? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Uh-oh. Uh, Persuade, my team already handled the issue, soldier. Your squad can depart. Smuggler has been handled. Your team isn't clear to the dock. Let's need to know so to depart before we assign to sewage. Everything perfect right now. We're going to How are you? Tell us to the first one. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Uh, Auto Max. We I don't look like we need some old rust buckets as backup. Ooh, what shall we do? Are we lie or intimidate? Let's just, let's just intimidate because if lying goes wrong, they can see like it is not activated. Then at least that we say oh we don't need them it's like lesser worse than a lie right Whoa, okay calm down i didn't mean anything by it jeez try and help some people the udl gunship is undocking from the station they appear to be departing into space hmm. you've got a real fine way with words okay that is cool so why am i still having this crap on Okay, so what is the next mission then? I like this, this, yeah, override the terminal. I only have a certain amount of steps though. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So we basically avoid a battle down here. And if you don't have all these lies and dialogue stuff, you're having a big problem. I need to go all the way over there. Snap. Proximity analysis. External fill sterilization measures employed. Caution, contact with electrical currents can be lethal to customers. A new helmet? 
Oh, that one is very clean though. Okay, security routine. Uh, 3000 is online. Disengage, checkpoint security. Is that good? <laughs> Mama Bear, Boss and V. Crate of Mines, okay. Almost out of stuff, guys. Ooh, okay, just in time. I'm basically picking up all the junk and whatnot since I can just sell it and my weight is okay. Uh, more weight can be added if I upgrade my character. Oh, this is how I look like, huh? The last one. Okay, it's another room. All right, so let's go into the big area. I think they're still alive in there. Okay, we need to go that way. So let's be smart about this. No, we're not gonna do that. I think those three little dots means it can be refreshed three more times. Okay, security routines. Oh, modify system access. Hack, unlock personal quarters. Boom, this is why you want to have hack for. <laughs> Projects, stuff and things, locks, awesome read, awesome read. I see some eyes today. And pause and read. And this last line pause and read. Access outbound com. Turn to root, message, classified, okay. Awesome read. Right, so did I do it? It doesn't seem like I do it. It has been 1217 days since the last locking. That is a lot. Let me just see what I need to do here. Grant sublight remote access to the station. The override card, which will hand over. Okay. Find a power source to get it back up and running. Mm -hmm. You bend the forces to leave the station. Make your way to the override terminal. Okay, I just need to, you know, read what I need to do here. So, security routines. System. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Got plus 15,000 XP. Return to Lilia. You know something? He might be the finest agent sublet ever hired. Church. But doesn't this basically mean we are okay? Okay. Mm hmm. That's plasma cartridge. Yeah, not really special. Hmm. I was expecting a little more. But I'm just going to save it up here because I'm almost out of stuff. You know what, if need, then we're just gonna go haywire, right? Because that means I'm now out of... Are you gonna be... Problem? Hmm, okay. Once again, a nice screenshot to see left or right, I think. Oh yeah, this would... Okay, I can pause and read. Hmm. That though. 
And then this one is for the one on top, I see. Stabilizing position is found, I see. So these are just being put in pots. It's like cryo chamber type of idea. They do not live further with what is going on. And they also don't die with what's going on. All right, it was very nice that we have done something else than this monarch situation. A base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Well done. You also find some Automax salvage waiting for new owners. The base had scientists and suspicious things. Some might be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Oh, a UDL gunship bust the station, but I convinced them to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. <laughs> I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. A rare gas and lab tested on people. Coincidence. Why is it locked? It mean it. Okay, it just says one option one, but not how much I need for that. This is about your cloak and dagger warnings. I am listening. After the monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big, something none of us were meant to know. You had my interest, now you have my attention. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Mm, looking deep into your pretty green eyes, I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial, Millstone. This is reality. Damn. Aliens? Really? Ain't nothing. <laughs> I just... I just love these options, though. This is... Yep. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? Uh, questions? Yeah, I do have questions, and I, I, you know, I'm not surprised if there would be aliens, like, that are... A lot of different other kind of weird ass creatures, so why wouldn't be something that is a little more intelligent than a couple of creatures like us humans? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. When you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. How do you know I'm not alien spy on a mission to silence you? Enough, tell me what needs to be done. I really don't know what makes... Okay. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. 
that why they wanted to have the whole ship with pulling cryo pots. Well, that is comforting. And you know what? Things are getting very interested. interesting at this moment. Probably nothing to worry about as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Oh, slowing down time, huh? <laughs> Okay, um, all right. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. I'll miss you. I'll take the job, mothers, and yeah, uh, 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 why? Well, I'll take the no job. Ass, boss. I like your style. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. Oh god. By now the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartran says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Man, holy smokes. Things are getting very interesting at this moment. Uh, yeah, I'm very dark. Puzzle pieces are getting put on place, right? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, but it's a faction quest and not like a main quest though. Oh man, it's getting super duper interesting. Now the thing here is, I think I don't want to start this just yet because it's a very interesting type of deal. I think what I would like to do first is actually finish off Monarch. Then just get that over with, right? And then we have something exciting to focus on, right? I think that would be a good idea.